if the 30, 40 or even 50% figure that people are mentioning around programmatic that is fraudulent is true, then does the industry have a kind of duty to you as an advertiser to expose that and clean that up? I, I think there's a potential time bomb in this area uh, which will lead to um, you know, lo loss of faith and trust uh, in the industry. How We're, worried are you about fraud in that in that? In well, that fraud regard? is... You know, some people are saying that maybe up to 40% of those views... Well, it depends on whether you're using open exchanges, so-called, or closed. Now, Zaxxis, 85% of its buying, of its billion of buying, is done through closed exchanges because we think that's a better way. But even before you get that as far as fraud, I think there's things going on which I think still need to be sorted out uh, as well. It's just uh, viewability. Now, what's viewability? I mean, so on some platforms, if the ad gets served, you pay for it. Now, you know, on a PC, it could be below the fold down yeah. here, yeah. but you're paying for it. Yeah. Now, yeah. you know, I think you get what you pay for, very, yes. very simple. Um, yeah. And there's, you know, talk in the industry about, uh, well, maybe it's 50% or 70%. And I'm saying well, it should be 100%. You get new terms like programmatic, and I think you know everybody's talking about it, and uh, it's not clear that anybody's doing it, like teenage sex, right? Everyone's talking about it, everyone thinks everybody else is doing it. Mm -hmm. um, the people who are doing it, and there aren't many, are probably not doing it that well. I, I think look, it's the reality of the business. The holding companies need to make their margin, which I think, you know, I can see why it's going that way. 100% viewability, why this, should that be an outrageous demand? Yes. I mean, you've paid for something, yep. guaranteeing that someone's viewed it, I think is completely acceptable, and yep. putting the metrics in place to be able to quantify that, I think is completely justifiable. With those open exchanges, we're using people who have a much higher standard, so I think there is, that can, is you that. Can, you can sift out botnet fraud in that? Well, you can sift out, can you sift out all of it? I don't know, I'm not an, not an expert, but I would guess you can get to most of it, but it is an issue. Hmm. And is an it issue. an issue, do you think, that should be a cross-industry issue? I mean, if you've got clients, let's take the UK for example, spending yes. 15, 16 million pounds in programmatic, right. and the 40% figure's anywhere near right, well, then, that's a, then that could be a lot of money that people are spending in a... No, I wouldn't say it's right in, in our own case, because I think we sort of fairly meticulously go through this to make, try and eradicate mm -hmm. it. If it is of the scale you're suggesting, clearly it's an issue, and it, it should be dealt with. This is still, the digital world is still such a young industry. It is working it out, and it's working it out. I think it's going to work out these issues at a pace now, because as you say, I think there is, you know, having sat with the, the, the big guys and the Unilevers and whatever who are saying, we now need, you're now at the stage and scale of spend where we need some more um, verification. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfectly possible to do it, and it will come.